Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love with the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. And how do you feel about each other? Keep in mind that this is a reading for the Pisces Collective, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. 100%. Take what resonates for you. It applies to you. All right, let's jump right in for Pisces. For Pisces, please. What do we need to know about what's going on for Pisces in love regarding the person they are thinking about, connecting with at this time? What do we need to know for Pisces? Okay, Pisces, let's see what we have for you. Mutual energies between you and this person. Wow, the Ten of Cups. And the Seven of Wands, okay. On your side, we have the Nine of Swords and the Page of Swords. Are you worried about what to say, What, whether you'll hear from this person, what they'll tell you? On their side, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. They have a decision to make here. And why everything is happening, the overall foundation root of the reading, the Fool at the bottom of the deck. This is about taking risks, new beginnings. Also, the only major arcana on the spread. A leap of faith into a new start here. I'm willing to take a risk. Two of cups after that. Interesting. So, it seems like you... I, I think the seven of wands here, be, you know, because this was your mutual energy between you and this person. So both of your energies are mixed in here in the mutual energy spot. But the seven of wands is like someone is being very protective, guarded about something. Um, maybe they need to stand firm against a specific challenge. We'll clarify and see. But I almost get like this might be your energy because you have the nine of swords. So it's, it's almost like I'm picturing you being a bit protective because of fear or stress or anxiety but we'll see if that's the case what's the overall energy between pisces and this other individual spirit overall energy please in this connection for pisces closed off yeah so someone's closed off guarded distant guarded <laughs> defensive resistant someone's protecting something guarding something keeping to something to themselves Bottom of the deck, we have coming together, which is reminding me of this two of cups here. I feel like there could be a um, an opportunity to come together, to be together, but I feel like this closed off energy is blocking it. Okay, I'm gonna use two brand new Oracle decks that I've designed recently, the Ever After deck, and PS, I love you. These are not completely done yet. They're not available yet, but I will let you all know when they are available. I've been kind of tweaking a little bit, playing around with them. So ever after, let's see, what's the overall energy? Whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, we got enchantment, spellbound, captivated, delighted. Okay. What else? What's the overall energy here? for Pisces and this other person. We got magic wand, transformation, hope, solutions. I feel like someone's wrapped up in what they are hoping will happen. Prince Charming after that, the Divine Masculine. So let me put this somewhere up here. <laughs> That's obviously not gonna stay up, but we're just gonna try, okay. So we'll have the Divine Masculine up there. So this is about a specific person. You know, it's interesting because I feel like this is, um, this could be you or the person you're thinking about or connecting with Pisces. But with Enchantment and Magic Wand, I'm almost getting like someone is really caught up in what they really are dreaming about or hoping for this connection, right? It's like they're hoping for a transformation. They're hoping for a solution to a problem. Um, and this is like all they think about, perhaps, all they're like planning for. So let's get some clarity. I'm gonna use my clarifier deck here to figure out what's going on here. We'll start with the Fool because that's the overall energy here. For 
cards and spirit. Can we get some clarity on these energies? Now you have the Page of Swords. So this could be that you are keeping tabs on someone, wanting to communicate with someone, receiving a message. We'll see. But let's start with this full energy. Why is the fool here for Pisces? Why is the fool here? The nine of pentacles again. So I'm thinking freedom, independence. When I see those two energies together, tell me about the fool. Like being free, ten of pentacles. Why is the fool here? This one. Strength, Leo energy. Okay, so um, I feel like this is basically like a poten the potential of what could be. If someone was strong, courageous, brave here. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We have the Sun and the Page of Wands. So I feel like someone could be um, having kind of a new start after a difficult ending. And I feel like this is your person. It's like your person is thinking about independence, being free having courage because they have the nine of pentacles and the two of wands why is the seven of wands here why is the seven of wands here the hierophant taurus energy and the ten of wands so i feel like there was an obstacle here in the terms of like you could interpret this in a few ways but something was weighing down a specific person could have been a responsibility an obligation a burden there could have like just many things on their plate tell me about the seven of wands this could have been another commitment too with the, the higher font queen of swords okay so when i see the queen of swords with the seven of wands i think of someone with a lot of boundaries they're very guarded so i see this in a few ways uh pisces remember this could be your energy or their energy or a mix of both i feel like there's some sort of obligation or weight baggage that's that um has kind of been an obstacle in this connection this could be baggage between you and this person or individually you're dealing with something difficult um but i feel like because of that obstacle maybe the other person has kept their guard up perhaps you know there's also another way to interpret this the queen of swords is hard to approach hard to talk to She's tough, right? She has a tough exterior. And with the seven of wands, it could be that someone is thinking that reaching out to you, approaching you, they're intimidated. It's hard to do to do that because of the way that you're being so protective. That's another way to look at this. So I definitely feel like there's something that's kind of in the way. And I, I'm wondering that's if that's why the nine of swords is here on your side. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. One of you is closed off. Let me know in the comments if you feel comfortable sharing which one of you is closed off, guarded, or just kind of in protection mode right now. The Star, Aquarius Energy. Yeah, this is like what someone's hoping for. This is someone's desire or wish, the Ten of Cups. And the Hangman, yeah. I feel like there's the Nine of Cups, exactly. This is someone's wish. This is someone's desire. But the hangman is telling me there's no movement. This is just how someone is, you know, someone's thinking, reflecting, maybe seeing things differently. Um, there's the Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh yeah, like this is, this is like someone's miracle <laughs> when I see those cards together. At least one of you, this could be both of you as well, but at least one of you sees the potential of being together. And it could be really special with the Ten of Cups, um, the Fool, the Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's like long-term potential, uh, a happy ending at the end of it all. So let's look at both of your energies. I have you on the left here, Pisces, and your person on the right. But feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you because they can be interchangeable. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. What are you worried about stress? Ooh, oh my gosh, my deck just went... Okay, so you have the Five of Cups that came out. This is about past disappointments, um, regrets, issues from the past. I'm going to put those back because there's a lot of them. Uh, I feel like the past has affected you, Pisces. I think you still think about it. Um, it might have been very stressful. Maybe you're just disappointed and anxious about the state of your connection. Let's see. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. What's going on here? 
sleepless nights, not, you know, feeling well. The Nine of Swords. Can I get one more, please, for this Nine of Swords? Wow, the Tower. So, yeah, something definitely happened. If it didn't happen in the past, you're worried about it happening in the near future. And there's the Two of Wands. So, I feel like you're thinking about this person. You're stressed anxious, fearful regarding this person's decision or the path that they'll choose. And this could be a path that they choose regarding your connection or a path that they choose in their own life that could affect your connection. So for example, maybe you're dating someone long distance and the fact of you being like coming together depends on them accepting a job close to where you live, right? That's a decision that they're making that could affect the future of your connection or perhaps they are recently single, recently free, and you're wondering, you know, will we have a chance? Will we have an opportunity? There's many ways to interpret this. Those are just examples. But I feel like you're thinking about the decision that this person has made in the past or will be making in the near future because, you know, time is relative. Like, it really depends on your individual situation. And a tower would definitely stress anybody out. Tell me about the Page of Swords. What's this Page of Swords about? The Five of Wands. Arguments, fighting, jealousy, drama. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Maybe you need to talk about a conflict or there has been uh, recent arguments. Maybe you said something you wish you hadn't said. The Six of Wands. Interesting. Some of you, I'm getting that you're observing this happen. Like you're observing drama unfold. You are aware there's conflict or drama somewhere. Um, I, I see that for some of you. It's almost like you're aware that this person is dealing with some difficulties or with something. Others of you, I feel like there has been conflict in your connection with this person. Maybe there are things that were said that you regret or things that they regret saying. Um, I feel like you still think about what has happened between you. Maybe you want to talk about it. Maybe you want to have success, a successful conversation about the past. Maybe enough time has passed for either of you to kind of calm down and kind of see where you want this to go, how you want things to play out. But I feel like your person's the one with the choice here. It's like they're the ones that are going to be deciding what ends up happening here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles, they tend to be unattached. Um, so let's see. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. What's going on here? The Ace of Wands, a new beginning, a new start, passionate, creative, you know, thinking about creating something new. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles, working hard, putting in effort, and then the Chariot, Cancer Energy. So this is, your person has been actively working on something. Maybe they're, they have a new job. Maybe they're making career moves with the Eight of Pentacles there, or just making some sort of moves that um, are leading to a new beginning here. Let's see. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Some of you might be dealing with someone in the military. I just saw like military stuff. <laughs> um, like maybe they're just deciding like what station or they're moving station, something like that. Obviously that's not for everyone. I just, I specifically saw that. Hang on. Oh no. Okay. So I did end up dropping you guys. That's okay. We're going to do some editing magic and uh, keep this going. <laughs> All right, so let's go with this Two of Wands. What's this Two of Wands about? What's this decision about? Wow, the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords. This is about whether to apologize for some sort of conflict, deception, difficulty that has already taken place here with the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Wands, please. Why is the Two of Wands here? Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this person, I feel, since they have the Five of Swords, Seven of Swords on their side. And we had the Ten of Wands here. 
uh, in the Seven of Wands. I feel like there might have been uh, some sort of conflict between you and this person, Pisces. And they're debating whether to apologize, whether to come forward, make a move here, maybe work on this partnership, have a new start, a new beginning. This person is recently free of something. I don't know what, but I feel like they are either free of like, like they've moved or they've left a situation behind or left a partnership. Like I see them recently letting go of something. And so now they have a choice to make regarding their future. And I think you're wondering what choice they'll make. Okay. Now the two of wands is about evaluating each option that you have. Um, let me look at this chariot real quick. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. The two of pentacles. See, they, they haven't decided. They're still debating with themselves. They might be the ones closed off and you have no idea what choice they'll make. And that's possibly stressful for you. All right. So let's get some PSI love views out here. I'm going to get some for you and some for them. And, you know, keep in mind that the energies there could also be interchangeable, vice versa. Tell me about Pisces energy. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces spirit. What do we need to know about Pisces? Time apart. Yeah, so you're not together. You're you're in separation from this person. There was already a tower, I feel. Tell me more for Pisces. I am removing myself from a difficult situation. Yeah, so I feel like this is where your person is coming into play. I feel like they are free of something, a difficult situation, and you've been apart while that's been going on. Tell me about this person and how they are feeling, thinking about Pisces, about this connection with Pisces. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. So they're closed off this person. I don't think they've communicated to you recently about what's going on here. I feel like you're showing up as a uh, queen of swords or they view you as a queen of swords. What else? How are they thinking about Pisces? Other half, but you match them very well. You are their person. Now, bottom of the deck, we have waiting around. So I feel like this person has not made their decision yet. They're thinking Pisces. Um, I think that maybe, you know, there's different ways to interpret this, but it could be that this person told you, hey, once I'm done with such and such, we can be together. And that hasn't happened because they haven't made the decision yet, which is kind of maybe stressing you out a little bit. Maybe they've changed their mind and you don't want that to be the case, right? Or it could be that this person is free of something, somehow you're aware of it, and you're hoping you have a second chance with them, but it, that's completely up to this other person. They're going to have to decide if that's what they want. I feel like the ball is in their court, which is kind of strange because usually it's the other way around. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. This is the current energy as of the time of this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.